What's poppin', my people? You already know what this is. It's on the lockout. Today we got an awesome show. We're going to talk about a dude in my neighborhood that don't matter what you thought you was doing or how tough you was, he was knocking you out cold. This is facts. Everybody got it from my man. So we in Brooklyn, things get crazy. We wind up on the roof. Helicopters come. You can hear them. It's lit. Police is outside. Everybody's going nuts. Pandemonium. We don't know what to do. Normally, we're young. As any normal kid, we lost in the source. We thinking at this point that the streets is what's up. Not knowing that it's all going to lead us to one place. Jail. So... This dude that I'm talking about, his name is Rock. Rock was the type of dude, he did exactly that. He rocked you. Boop! <laughs> so this day we walking up the block, it's me, Rock, my man Killer M. We walking up the block, he runs into a dude that he knows. Bam! They start beefing. I don't really know too much what their whole beef was about. I know that in the book bag, we was holding. Now, we walking up the block. I'm like, wow. Once they start beefing, I'm like, I'm going to have to pass this off. But I'm young. I don't know if scared is the correct word, but I knew what I was about to do was the wrong thing. Yeah, we still got hair over here. <laughs> Sorry, guy. Yeah, so I knew that me passing off a sharp object wasn't the right thing to do. So they get into an argument. He's like, yo, your mother. He's like, your mother. He's like, say that again. This time, <laughs> my man Rock wasn't trying to just rock him. He wanted to get rid of him. He wanted a super revenge. He said, your mother, he said, say it again. When he said it again, he said, let me get that, oh. I said, hmm? So I pass it to him, take it out the book bag. He proceeds to chase him, hit him, boom, oh, oh, oh. Caught him, boo. You see it. I'm like, holy snap, my J. What the, uh. Homeboy swings, Rock grabs his arm, boom, one of them Bruce Lee dudes starts chopping away. Bap, 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 bap. I'm like, yo, you're going to chop his hand off, my dude. This is going to be a problem, right? <laughs> he's asking him to apologize as he's chopping. It's crazy at this point. I knew that Rock needed help, <laughs> for real. So... Once I hear, ah, you know, you doom, doom, doors, doom, doom. I skate. We young, bro. We don't know what to do. We skate in the building. Me, my dude, other dude I was with. We run up to the building on 41st and 5th. Whoever knows about the building knows about the building. Super! Abre la puerta! <laughs> right? We run up to the hallway because you was able to go in through one building and come out through the other part where my man Pete Rock lived at. Facts! Little Wayne and them. <gasps> Not yet. Rapper, Little Wayne. <laughs> the real Wayne. <laughs> Facts. So anyway, we hiding there. We don't know what to do at this point. We hear helicopters. <laughs> we shook, man. But guess what? My man Rock ran, took flight. Oh, boy, look at him go. The dude he chopped away at, chased him, caught him. Losing super drip. He dripping. He's weak. As he's weak right now, and he can't run no more, he still grabs him. Boom. And he stops this guy. 
He grabs him. He holds him till police reach them. I say all that to say. You got to make sometimes spur of the moment decisions. And it could depend on whether the next man lives or doesn't make it. Facts. Leave in the comments what you would have done. We ran to the roof. We hid. Kids, we didn't know. We were scared. We like, oh my God, we going to jail. This dude bodied them. We thinking he gone because the way he hit him up, it was for you not to be in no more. Facts. Another time, this same dude. I'm getting why they call it. This dude was like a terror, and you gotta give him his his props in the hood when it comes to street situations, right? Because nowadays, like we're grown, we're like, you know what? It's childish. Some may deem it like it's dumb, what have you, right? But uh, I'm out my window where I used to live at. Now I live on in a building, so you look up. And I'm out the window always with the music or what have you. So it's me and my man, Evil, right? So they brothers. Bam! So I guess the dude that he's talking to was being disrespectful to the younger brother or says something, again, pertaining disrespectful, like a family calling. Like when we grew up, dudes was a lot on uh, your mom's. And a dude would take that real serious. Like, yo, he said your mom's like, and now you had to go in. It was like a SMD situation times 27. It got serious real quick. <laughs> so when he looks up, he says, yo, if he says that you said that right now, I'm knocking you out. So he asks me and evil, yo, was it him? And we both like, Look at each other And if I'm not mistaken Evil One of us answered If I'm not mistaken It was evil Said yeah For why was that Caught him Maka <laughs> Once he hit him with the maka It was so stiff And so crazy That as I looked down I seen him go Boom He just slid Like on the gate Boom like a cartoon I ain't never see nobody fall like that In real time Ever Till today This is a fact <laughs> So He picks him up Boom This is a fact True story I'll never lie to you in my life I may turn the stories down Cause they may seem to be Deemed too much for the tube Facts Whoever knows, knows that's watching from the hood is like facts. He definitely is. So he hits him with the chuleta. Pa, put this in your face. <laughs> and I'm going to translate that so we all could get it, right? A lot of people in the world, when somebody breaks you off, boom, and mockers you, right? They hit you with a, there's like a piece of pork, whatever it is. They put it on your face and it's supposed to bring down like the swell or whatever. I don't know how that works. I ain't never been through that situation where they pork me up to the point where like, yo, hey, clang, hold that down. Facts. I had crazy situations happen, but I went to the hospital in a coma. It was different. They wasn't putting no pork on me or whatever it was that they put. I know it's a piece of meat or whatever, whether it's pork, uh, uh, spare ribs <laughs> or one tongue. Soup, uh, wonton, or uh, 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 chicken for the Chinese. I don't know what it is, but they put something, bang, that has to do with food, and it's supposed to heal up. Leave in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. We answer back all comments personally. So that's that's two crazy situations in my hood. Another situation, rock again. This one is crazy. This one is super lit. Check Duke out. It's me, evil, <laughs> facts, we walking, it's late at night, we all trying to chill, like do the right thing, if I'm not mistaken, Big Rock had just came home 
from doing a, a state bid, like about eight joints or whatever. Like at this point, we was all in and out of prison and we all knew we was getting busy. Like we hear each other's names here and there. But when we hit the streets, it was like, what you doing? Ain't you? I'm doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Boom. And we all wanted to show each other that we was doing right. But there was still this monster within us, right? That it was like, come on, man, you know you wildin'. But in front of each other, I, we will always act like, what up, man? I'm just chilling, man. Doing. So anyway, we walk, boom. We on 4th Avenue, if anybody knows. 57th Street, 4th Avenue. We walking. We hit 60th. Y'all know the spot where you buy the coffee and all that, where it's full of uh, people from other countries and other nationalities, meaning like, Sud America, like Mexicans, Salvadorians, whatever. We don't know what these dudes was. We're going to try to refrain from that situation then because we don't do that. Anybody get it when things hit the fan, right? So we walk and we ordering or whatever. I don't know. There's a dude with it with shines on. So we was all at that time living a wild life, super wild, out of control because the devil had a grips of a... Of our life, right? And uh, I think Evil wanted to yap him or he had a problem with him before. And he was like, yo, y'all know what time it is. And just stalled. Boop, boop. On the other individual, right? So as his real blood brother that he is, right? Rock gets involved because a dude is now they popping. There's dudes that are together in there from the same clique. Right? Uh... And they pop, boom, boom, they pull out knives. I'm like, yo, watch it, he got a knife. But this ain't no ordinary knife. This is like the kitchen set, but the biggest one, right? And he's like coming towards Rock. He's coming towards, I think, Evil, I'm not mistaken. But Rock winds up getting it. Boop. Because he duffed him. Boop, boop. When he duffed him, homeboy hit him. Boop. And hit him in the heart. It was like... Super close, and he would have been dead, they said. So while we getting out of there, because things are breaking out, right? <sighs> Windows, 60th, 4th Avenue, the panadera, panaderia, where you buy the bread, butter, coffee early in the morning is open all the time. We stayed up in there, Sunset Park, right? Especially when we was doing our little hustling days, whether you was on 58, 51, 49, wherever. Well, 49, uh, 41st or whatever we I usually went to the 39th Street and 5th Avenue facts 24 hours let me get a toasted <laughs> facts nice and toasted yeah uh jelly right with cream cheese that's my thing <laughs> and a coffee a hot chocolate in the winter you already know Danny Danny D the super Elvin little Ray all that Mace, The Block, Nana, Raquel. Y'all remember them days, right? Uh, PT, PE, Angelo, everybody. Bruno, Little Flick, Big Flick, Paste, Diana, Erica, uh, Pito, Little Pito, The Block, Tommy, right? Everybody, them days when it was popping. Right? Uh on 53rd and 5th Avenue. We had Frankie, Green Eyes Scano, everybody. You already know I'm naming people for those people that are watching this that's from that part of Brooklyn are like, holy snaps. Mikey throwing them when they came from the hard pack, Coco, uh Booby, Camesita. You already know uh of course, Freddie Flowers and them was younger, but they started getting older and, and doing their thing and moving around at that time. You already know, free the real. Uh, all that, man. Paul, yo. And, 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 and my bad, if any of them people ever did anything to someone, we don't have nothing to do with that. We just telling the story. And I know all those people I just named as good people. You feel me? And what I'm saying is this. We on, we on 60th. Right? So it pops. He stabs rock real close to the heart. Look how the hospitals get down. This is just facts. We go to the hospital and look how real people are. Oh, so we run out now because it's lit. We breaking glass. The owner's calling the cops. I'm like, yo, we got to go. Right? Boom. We start running like down the block. 
And the dude that stabbed him is running down the block. So we trying to chase him and worry about him. But a dude that has nothing to do with the fight, I guess he was at that point. He was from our nationality. And he was like, bro, ain't nobody going to be just stabbing my people like that. His girl is like, no, no, don't get involved. He grabs one of those monkey wrenches, but like the big red one that opens up the pump. But this wasn't no ordinary wrench, bro. This was like the big wrench that the firemen carry and when you get stuck in between your car and you're in there curled up and they trying to... You know, trying to get you out and you're like, oh, snap, I'm dead. Like one of them situations, one of them wrenches. So my homeboy's passing him, the element of surprise is a mob, but he don't know that he's about to get slammed with that. And he's running and homeboy just... And when the dude went to talk, he he was like, bleh, 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 and all teeth fell out of his mouth. He went, you seen it? Bling, 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 bling. Look like Tic Tacs. <laughs> all over the place. Facts. It's like, excuse me, can I get two of those <laughs> for my breath? <laughs> it was crazy, my dude. Tic Tacs all over the place. I was like, oh, snap, my G. So... Rock has to go to the hospital, but in the hospital is NYPD. Now we pet, you know, we dudes that's wilding in our neighborhood. We might be wanting, we might have warrants. You know, at that time, it was the type of environment where if they was looking for people for a robbery and you got caught for a robbery, they want to blame you for all the robberies in the neighborhood, like cop out to known and unknown. So we could just seal this and then it looks like, the NYPD is doing their job. Like, uh, today we would just like to inform you that we've captured the guy that's been burglarizing all the all the houses in the neighborhood and terrorizing the neighborhood. It's bull crap. They blaming one dude for all the burglaries and all the robberies because he copped to it because he's afraid that he did other cases and might come up. But they, they didn't catch him for all of them. But they'll give you like a one of free. Like, take that known and unknown, like, type thing. Uh, leave in the comments if you remember the days of known and unknown. <laughs> Facts. So, anyway, they bring the dude who actually did the stabbing to the hospital. Look what they do to Rock, bro. Rock is a fighter. Definitely. Got to give it to him. And at that point, my girl realized at that moment what had happened when we got home. So they bring the guy to the hospital. One of the, the guys that was in the fight that was involved, they actually stabbed Rock. Is this the guy? You could believe this is how thorough always was. He said, nah, that's not him. And then the cops again, like, are you sure? Like, like trying to push it on him. Like, this is definitely him. And he's like, bro, that's not him. You're going to try to force me to say that it's somebody that is not? And I was like, my son is super real all the way. Because he didn't want the dude to get in trouble. Number one, we all been doing bids. It's like, we not with that, right? Number two is, leave him in the street, bro. We trying to see homeboy. Like, he just wilded out. He just did something real bad. And he's about to be all over the place with it. Boop! <laughs> so, they let the dude go. They sent... Uh, rock home eventually They sold them up and all that right Check this out It gets crazy Super quick It gets real 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 crazy <laughs> They stitch him up They wanted him to tell our homeboy Because they were dying to put somebody in a cell And take somebody to Rikers Island That's a fact You know that's all they trying to do is get a collar at this point. They're like, somebody needs to get locked up for this. Somebody needs to pay. Somebody needs to go to jail right now. And they was even telling Rock, like, if you don't tell, like, if you don't say, like, what really happened, if this is him or not, like, you could go to jail, like, for lying. We like, what? Are you bugging? Like, this is not our first rodeo. We've been on the lockout a few times, my dude. Like, be easy, right? So, they send Rock home. As we looking at him and examining, you know, his, he's like, yeah, look what happened, man. They, you know, they stitched me up. They said it was this close to my heart. You could tell he lost a lot of weight. He was going through it. My girl at the moment realizes, like, yo, 
your arm is stitched to your chest. He's like, nah. He's do we like, does it hurt? He's like, yeah, yeah, like it hurts. Like I gotta go back, I think, because it's like killing me too much. Like something is in there. She's like, yo, they stapled your chest to your arm, to like, you know, to right here, to like your muscle, you know, poop, 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 poop. <laughs> you make the connection? <laughs> poop, poop. He was like, nah. Holy snap, bro, yo. It's like it's like one of them things, like when you see it, it hurts more. He was like, yo, snap, yo. We like, yo, chill, don't make no fun, don't move, don't move, yo, yo. It's like getting out of control. You got to go back. We, you know, he gets to the hospital at this point. They're telling him how sorry they are. They, like, almost wanted to blame him. Like, it's impossible. Like, you had to. So you're telling me I moved it and, like, pop and stapled myself, like, poop, and just did that to myself? Like, you're bugging, right? So I'm hoping that he worked on a lawsuit with them or whatever because I'm pretty sure that. But a lot of things that we think we could sue about, we can't. And then in the process, we get lost, like, he went back up north. He did another bid, you know, and things like that. Leave in the comments if you ever been through situations like that, man, where things get real crazy and then you get locked up and you might not have put in the lawsuit when you could have. You could have probably got a lot of money, but you didn't because you wasn't around. You couldn't get to lawyers. You don't know that in the, from in the jail you could actually work on putting in the lawsuit. A lot of us don't know these things. I don't know. And did you have anyone crazy like that in your neighborhood, you know, that would lock out anywhere in any prison, any jail, and was nutso like that, like rock, you know? I just wanted to tell that story a little bit of that and let you know about rock. I got a lot more stories with him and about him. But um, he's one of my good friends coming up. Like, everybody knows he's like a brother to me. He Actually, he just came home from doing, like, I think it was 8 and a third to 16. I think altogether, I mean, time flies, bro, because I felt like that incident on 60th Street was just the other day. It's like it's green to me, right? But it actually, it actually wasn't, right? I wanted to touch real brief also, right, on the situation that I've been seeing a lot with Maino and people talking about, uh, you know, like Maino was in street. We got a few, you know, dudes, I guess they cloud chasing. And I just want to touch on that real brief because I'm from Brooklyn, born and raised, and I've been spinning around and hanging out even when I was.